I have thought a lot about eschatology, okay, the future and the, of the universe and the future of life and so on. I started my, scientific, my formal scientific career working on proton decay. Okay? Some of the first calculations on proton decay, we were involved in them. And at that time, we were saying that protons had a lifetime of at least 10 to the 32 years. Okay? Today, we have raised the bar a few orders of magnitude. Those were theoretical calculations based on what was known till then. At that time, this is the late 70s, early, early 80s. And I have thought about the fact that the universe is uh, 10 to the 10 years old, that order of magnitude. So 10 to the 32, 10 to the 10. So what happens? There is a huge difference. And then what happens afterwards? So I have read about it, thought about it, and done some informal calculations about it. You know, back of the envelope, never published anything, but thought a lot about it. And I am, like you, a firm believer in self-organization. I think that there are some principles in the universe that allow matter and energy, same thing, to somehow self-organize and adapt to the circumstances and the conditions in the universe. I believe that a lot was set when the universe was formed. The boundary conditions of the universe were, had contained a huge amount of order. And that huge amount of order gets, you know, somehow re-elaborated on as circumstances change, as matter reorganizes, as clumping due to gravity or due to the presence of fluctuations, which originally were quantum fluctuations that happened in the universe when it was too sm very small. And then those have left imprints in different parts of the universe. And then there's chaotic dynamics that takes place. And there are, as you very well put it, little pockets of uh, energy, that uh, free energy gradients that move around and they generate order and uh, that generate disorder. But then, you know, so I believe in reprocessing of matter. I believe that with time, the universe will evolve. Definitely the Earth is going to disappear in five billion years or so as the sun grows. And the matter that makes us now will probably transform into, well, probably no, will transform into many things else. But that matter will keep reprocessing, except that as time evolves, and if the universe is only one universe, it's not a multiverse, but it's a universe, only one universe. As time progresses, then we will little by little cool. And we will go into different stages in which you have different type of black holes that will be forming. And eventually, we will have a very cold neutrino and photon filled universe. Neutrinos are neutral. Photons are neutral. And for the most part, except when you manipulate them a lot, they, are, they don't interact with themselves. Okay? You need really high density of photons for, in order for nonlinear aspects of electrodynamics to take place. Okay? And you need huge amounts of vacuum polarization for that to take place. But so the most probable is that we, and this is what I believe, is that eventually there will be a very, very cool, in the sense of temperature, a very cool universe with no structure in it in 10 to the 120 or so years from now. And that is what I believe, using Hawking radiation and a number of things that people have postulated that might exist. That's the picture that you arrive at. And that's what I subscribe. Now you are, you're here at Harvard and, and you are starting um, a big